Do you know what? I believe we're at a tipping point that's going to redefine the world of digital marketing. It's time for marketers to leave behind the legacy of the pre-digital era and embrace a new marketing strategy, a marketing strategy built on improving the user's experience. I've worked in the web for over 20 years and over that time I've watched many sectors struggle to adapt to the changes that the web have brought and nowhere has that challenge been more acute than with marketing. You see, for the longest time marketers have done little but adapt old marketing techniques for the new platform. Billboards have become banners and newspaper advertising has become sponsored blog posts and direct mail has become what you can only politely call email marketing, also known as spam. Even the arrival of mobile has done little to curb this trend. Marketers cram ever more intrusive banner advertising onto these small screens to the point where it obscures the content people want to look at. But things are finally changing. Marketers are having their hand forced and they're going to have no choice but to think of things in a different way. You see, users are becoming ever more frustrated with traditional marketing. Years back, it was on a subconscious level. Users developed a blindness to banner advertising and that led to click-throughs falling through the floor. Then they started to become more vocal. They complained about spam and so email uh, client providers gave them ever more sophisticated tools to manage their email and banish that spam or unsolicited email away. Many of the promotional emails marketers spend ages producing today are not seen, let alone opened. Marketers have fought back with ever more intrusive advertising in an attempt to grab users' attention. But this has just led to the birth of ad blockers. And ad blockers have become so popular now that they're beginning to threaten the online advertising industry. This is especially true with Apple about to enable ad blockers in mobile Safari. No more annoying mobile advertising on your iPhone. No doubt marketers uh, will find ways around these constraints, but at the end of the day, they're fighting a losing battle because they're trying to force people to look at something that they're not interested in. They're, they're fighting their own customers, the people that they're looking to attract, and that's just insanity. But the problem is even deeper than that. The easy access to the web provides uh, to ratings and reviews has further harmed traditional marketing. Whether buying a toaster or making a donation to charity, users can find out what others think about you quickly and easily with a Google search. Mobile further enhances this ability by enabling users to even get feedback on products when standing in a high street store. In short, it no longer matters what you say about your products, it's what others say that matters. Whether consumer organizations like Witch or Amazon Reviews, consumers trust reviewers more than they trust you as a marketer. It's no longer enough for you to pour money into promoting your product. If others don't recommend it, the product will fail no matter how much money you spend on advertising. Word of mouth has always been the best marketing technique, but now it's becoming almost the only one that matters. It outperforms any other form of advertising, and yet, to many marketers, it's terrifying. That's because the marketer no longer controls the message. They can't dictate what the customer is saying about their product, and that worries them. This leads to a profound change in marketing. If you can no longer control the message, then the only alternative that you have is to provide a superior product or service. You have to make the experience outstanding. Only then can you be sure that the message is going to be a good one. For many marketers, this isn't marketing at all, it's not their problem. But an increasing number of marketers are getting it, are understanding this is part of marketing. The user experience is a crucial component of a successful marketing strategy. If the user finds the experience delightful, then they will share it. But equally, if they have a terrible experience, then they'll be quick to share that too. So user experience is absolutely crucial in word of mouth recommendation. So before pouring money into our advertising campaigns, marketers need to focus on creating a better experience. But this doesn't just apply to for-profit companies. It applies to not-for-profits too. 
I once worked with a charity who poured millions into advertising campaigns, all with the aim of uh, driving potential donors to their website. But the website was so ineffective and frustrating that the number of people who turned into actual donors was incredibly low. Not only was the charity failing to convert supporters, it was also alienating the existing ones they already have. Constant email campaigns asking for more donations felt like more like spam than they were any form of engagement. All of this led to a raft of negative comments online and that undermined the goodwill that they'd built in their advertising campaign. Well, if they'd managed to build any. But there is another great advantage to focusing on user experience design. It's considerably cheaper than traditional advertising. Creating a great experience is about listening to your customers and responding appropriately. And that's something even the smallest organization can do. You don't need a big advertising budget to grab eyeballs. You could nurture a small community with a great experience and turn them into advocates that go out there promoting your product and service for you. It scales well as well. You need to continually pump money into traditional advertising to create ever larger levels um, of uh, customers coming in. To attract more and more customers, you need to pump in more and more money. But by providing a great experience, your community will grow organically and become ever bigger as one customer invites another. It becomes exponential in its growth. Just look at Charity Water. They've grown their revenue from $1.7 million in 2007 to $36 million in 2013. That's only six years, largely because of their online experience. My point in this post is a simple one. Look at your marketing budget and ask yourself, are you spending it as wisely as you could be? Is it time to refocus that budget on improving the user experience rather than creating a series of marketing campaigns? Traditional marketing campaigns are great and do have their place if you already have an amazing user experience up and running. But if you don't, then you might as well be pouring that money away. You have to have the user experience in place before you spend money on more traditional advertising routes.